Dragon here along with Drakir. And welcome back to Legacy of Cain Blood Omen 2. Hopefully running better now again. This time I didn't forget to single this thing out to only one processor, which is well, <laughs> as Drakir reminded me in my own words, one processor else game freak out. <laughs> yeah, maybe not exactly words, but basically the gist of it. Okay, last time we got into the third level, the lower city, and after about a half an hour of walking around, we were still only 50% in, according to the save system. Oh, hello. And I lost my weapon again, though, with how easy these idiots are, I can just get one back easy. Uh, <laughs> that guy was crawling into the wall. He just oh. really wanted to be away. <laughs> did you see what you just did? Yep. Broke his back. You broke basically just the lower back along with his pelvis. Oh, that's a lot of water. That's a lot of uh, cane don't want. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh wait, just do work. You... Oh, wait. Wait, it's Hello. not... <laughs> this doesn't look like my doing, and I forgot to drain the idiots of their blood. Not that they give much experience anyways. Yeah, someone else has been killing around here. And I can't go through any of those doors, so what is the... Uh, yes. I can maybe climb up on that? But it does look too high to be... Nope, just high enough to be grabbed. Hello there. May I introduce to you to my uh, favorite club? <laughs> it's called a nightclub. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, that one, was, that one was smart. I have to admit, that one was a clever part. Okay. Even a bit painful. Let's see, do I need to push this box down there? Oh, wait, it's not I covering anything. I just made a pun without realizing it. <laughs> and I didn't catch it then. I said that uh, it's got a small clear pawn, even uh, it's a bit painful. I think you hear yourself there, but what, where the pawn is. Uh, I'm a bit distracted with trying to figure out where the hell this box is supposed to go, so no. Painful club. Yeah. Uh, well, the, I hear the music sucks and the bouncer is an asshole. <laughs> Wait, that's why you broke his arms? Okay, with that we can block the gate when it goes back down. Wait, 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 wait. Look in the water. Yeah? There's stairs. Okay, so we're probably going to lower the water, yeah. So probably over here. What the? What? <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> wait. So the hole behind you would be... No, it's not empty. Uh, it's just a puddle. Oh. Oh, and that's timed. That, that went w up real quick. Uh, no, not that. Rush. Uh, don't get stuck on ledges, you stupid idiot. That got a bit close. And save points or save the game. And a bunch of thugs are being thugs again here. Oh. They're thugging on each other. <laughs> I thought they were actually uh, harassing someone else. Blood and experience from them. Yeah, but I could also just skip past him for now. Yeah, 
Hello. What creature skulks there in the darkness? Step forth and die! Did he sense us? That almost seemed to glue up when you approached him. So... So they're Templars with glow sticks. Yeah. Oh, Robert. that dealt a lot of damage. Uh, oh, uh, and... Uh, someone raised an alarm. Yeah. I think that armor is like a heal the boat uh, stonewalker. And also nearby, it glows blue. His armor glows up when a vampire is near. Yeah, that seems to be the case. So he's probably going to be a main target eventually. And you know the one that you made, the club. So you're gonna need to kill these Oh, you, you do not care about me? Okay, then uh, I'll enjoy my drink in peace. <laughs> no, relative peace. Is the red skin the Yeah, it must be a gang thing that uh, they call they paint themselves like war paint and such. Yeah, all the times we see them fight along with each other. Is that a war poster? It looks more like an advertisement for a grocery store or something. Yeah, it looks like fruits. Okay. That one with the front of the brawlers. Oh. I meant to swap out my power first, but okay. To the, uh, well, the, the pitch slap of rage. <laughs> Creature skulks there in the darkness. Step forth and die. I think that was supposed to be a, a different uh, else because he was pointing away from Kane. So, yeah, I, I think he was supposed to look towards us. Hmm. Then again, he glued up when you approached him. So I guess. And the way he spoke, I, I think... Yeah, he meant Kane, but he was... But he was looking the wrong way. Yeah, I'm Yeah. Okay. These guys are going to be a pain even with how much health we've gotten now. Let's not get... Boxed in by these two. Yeah. Okay, this is going to start to get annoying if we have to fight these guys all over again every time. Like that, and you will have some Okay, armed again, and let's go through that <laughs> cutscene for the third time. That was that was 20%. Okay, they must have thought that puzzle would have taken people a lot longer then. Okay, sit through this again. <laughs> he really just looks like some idiot who stumbled in from a Tron convention or something. Like Tron mixed with the masquerade, Vampire the Masquerade or something. Yeah, I feel like 
His armor notified him there's a vampire around him, somewhere near him. So he looked in front of him, he sees no one there, he looks behind him, and find King there. It's my best guess. Oh, yeah. What we guess is development uh, oversight. Yeah, a disconnect between the writers and the animators. Because I really think he was supposed to turn around ahead of time there. Yeah. And we managed to shake these idiots quite easily, it seems. Is there any, any fog around here? No, but I can at least get some alone time with this guy before his friend joins in. Okay, second run for you. Yeah, um, that may, bronze may is a uh, bronze spike up definitely will hurt even with that armor on. Yeah, because crushing blows just go straight, they don't care about plate armor. Ringmail might, because those would be more shock absorbing. Yeah, the, the spikes may pierce too. The, I imagine the spike on a bronze cloud like that would get a bit bent, but still gonna hurt. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I thought that would be close enough to grab, but apparently not. Also, uh, might as well a small announcement whilst we are going around here again. I'm thinking about changing my upload schedule to YouTube, that instead of the day after a stream that I uploaded later, you know, or immediately, practically immediately after. Uh, because, well, I've, I've been forgetting to do that again. So yeah. it, it's probably better if I just upload it on the same day as it was streamed. Yeah, I should probably help you re remind me of you about it. Anything up here? Way back up, I presume. And this here. Yeah, I will remind you if you want. Okay, now we have Tweedledee and Tweedle Idiot. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, that, that was a lot of health gone real quick. Okay, he is trying to be smart by getting around me. <laughs> I just smack him the fuck away. Okay, drink you quick. And the other one isn't getting back up. <laughs> oh, hello. Come on, don't get killed by this bozo now. Okay, you're the first one I ever heard actually you ah. that word. Oh uh, Yeah. Glowing attacks are to be avoided and we back here. Okay, let's just not fight the first two. Actually let's let's just not fight these at all. Okay, I guess here now. One of another uh, in to add to the list of why people may have disliked this game as well. Unskippable well, cutscenes that are annoying as hell. I was more thinking about the unfair checkpoints. My creature skulks there in the darkness. Step forth and die. Oh come on, we've got bot up here. Yes. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Okay, that shouldn't mess with the recording, hopefully. No idea if I still don't want to see the game. So no idea if that's a good sign or not. Yeah, there's three bots in this in the Twitch chat. Alright. <laughs> okay, we got stuck there for a moment. This is the moment where a crossbow would be useful. Yeah. 
What a but, yeah, but Kane would probably think such weapons beneath him or something. Hello? Okay, apparently your boss doesn't care about you, and no, you're not getting inside. Oh, hello. That's where the other game came from. I think. Yeah, that might be it. Uh, oh, head there. I think that that turns it off. Okay, so they have. We're going to be facing enemy spawn points. That can be that need to be turned off. Come on. Okay, just, just kill this asshole. Oh, okay, they bleed out on their own after a bit. And he's not coming up either. Okay, let me borrow that. And just take this for myself. <laughs> I wonder if it, if it just means like if you Drink the blood before the bleed out, you get more health or something else? Uh, no, because when they're crawling away, we can't drain them. We still have to kill them. Alright. Okay, I'd say that is a good checkpoint to do. Since that, well, facing a new enemy is typically a bit of a difficulty spike. And uh, <laughs> certainly a spawning, respawning enemies as well. Yeah. Just let me finally go through that. What the? Did you hear that? Yeah. And there's a barrier. Okay, uh, just ignore the ancient looking man who is suspiciously walking away from the anti vampire barrier. Oh, 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 oh. You picked the wrong grandpa to nug. <laughs> There we go. And the hell is up with the mess up there? What's the name? On us. Someone we had a party. And who the fuck are you? Young thing? What poor Nothing. soul has the misfortune of interrupting my feeding? One who shares your thirst and your curse. Ah, a voice from the past. So the rumors are true. Cain walks Nosgoth again. How do you know me, creature? How I would love to dispatch you here and now. And yet, I am required elsewhere. Good night. Wait. Okay. Was that spring here yet? It could have been a reference to that. What? What's something with his boots? The only thing that made me unsure about this was he was covered in armor? Uh, but yeah, for anyone not in the know, Spring Healed, oh. Spring Healed Jack is uh, a creature of British mythology, modern mythology. And what he is or, or is a bit unclear, but he's been referenced in a few games. The one thing that they can all agree on, re that the stories can really agree on, is that. Uh, spring Heel Jack was some sort of maybe bats or vampire-like creature that could 
jump really <laughs> high and would ambush people in the night. Yeah. He was a real urban legend that many accused. Uh, he was just. This. You have to see. He was very, uh, most accused of many murders without tra traces of uh, the murderer. Yeah. So they usually promote that uh, must be Spring Hill Yak. Okay, let's see if we can make this. Yeah, we can. Hello. Oh, come on. You see someone else on the roof, and the, your first idea is to try and kill them. Well, he's a farm. He's a smart one. Uh, let's see. Games right. I can think of which referenced Spring Hill Jack. I think either the, El the Elder Scrolls 3 or 4. I'm not entirely oh. sure which of the two. I think it was Oblivion. I did not know that. Uh, I know the main games prefer to Jack the Ripper. Uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate did both, referenced both of them. Jack the Ripper, who had an entire DLC to himself there, and uh, Spring Hill Jack as well. I'm trying to remember. I know, I know. Prop Evil series had a one episode dedicated to reference to Jack the Ripper, which apparently was a raptor. Okay. Uh, apparently, time this primeval only took out times and all that, and occasionally time portal opened up in modern time, and apparently one raptor ended up in the 18th century. So yeah. Oh god. I don't think it has many rippers to him there. Am I supposed to be able to get to that? I I'm pretty sure that the, the normal jump won't even uh, uh, the normal jump and float won't reach that far. It, okay. but it has a, his floating animation looks better than the other games. Open this back up. Okay, he's no longer, you know, people seem for dominance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, Behold. Dumbass the Imperial. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but really, where. Uh, can we just. No, we can't just jump over here. Can we... No, we can't jump to anywhere there. Can't climb the roof. Oh, and we could have just done this here. But really, where does it actually want us to try and jump towards that? Because it's not in, in reach of this. In the meantime, we keep losing blood. And I just realized uh, that you are basically running around like springing yap yourself here at the moment. Jumping roofs and all. Yeah. Well, except you're not jumping from the ground up to a roof. That's the only difference. It's Maybe that's what the other guy will give you when you defeat him. Or oh, we can already jump distance and this guy hasn't really been shown to be jumping up high. So I think he... If he is another... Well, he is a vampire. That much is as sure as can as day. But I think his ability might be more of a speed thing. Uh, possibly. But... I guess we will see for the way he jumped into the scene and he boots. There we go, we had to stand on the ledge. Oh. How do you like my handiwork, Kane? It's been a good night's feeding. 
You're a sloppy butcher, vampire. You jeopardize your presence by such bloodletting. But it isn't my presence that's in danger, Kane. It's yours. You serve the Seraphan, then? I serve no one but myself. Ah, I'd forgotten how much I loathe your elegant tone. It will be a pleasure to silence it for good. We shall meet again soon enough. Okay, there he did jump high. <laughs> but now you understand why I'm getting spring heat yak feeling. Yeah. And there's something about his boots. They keep with the old method that should be cleaning, but they clean a bit oddly. Okay. Another save point, another save. Oh no, don't tell me. Hmm? No, get away from me. I think the noisy boots are making is an altered version of that sword thing. Okay. I think, but I guess I have noticed that more for what. Now you made a clean sound of the sword, it sounds so weirdly familiar. Well, what do we have here? What do we have here? Okay, just deal with these two idiots. And while I'm at it, might as well switch back to Fury. And backhand this bitch! <laughs> One more back sword! Bloody! You're a bit weird you were able to blow him away with the sword that blow and not leave him through. Hmm. That would remind you of another game to possibly stream sometime. One where you can absolutely cleave someone in two. What a combat? No. Oh, oh come on, game, you you give me the ability. Okay, just another stupid ledge to get stuck on. For, for a moment I thought they put down an invisible wall there. I'm here, and I and also what would you be through it? Uh let's see here. Uh the dead? Uh no. <clears throat> Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. I have to like this. Uh, what was that last word? The noise kind of drowned it out. I said, I have seen that game. I have seen the uh, playthrough of it. Yeah, the, the combat in that game is absolutely fun. Okay, what are we doing here with raising the water? Okay, a blockage here. Box here. Okay, do I need to float you around or something? Okay, that drains it away entirely. Where do I need to put that box then? Not seeing a use for it over here. Nor in the ceiling. What do you do again? You create a pathway. Do I need to bring the box here? But the stairs. I I doubt I I very much doubt that I can pull that thing up the stairs. Maybe I need to block this for some reason. I'm guessing I need to bring the box over here, raise the water to make it float, and then open up the bridge here underneath it. Or, wait, is that a pressure plate? Okay. Okay, box gets stuck underneath there. Oop, almost touched the water. Ok, 
Okay, we can't move the bridge whilst the water is up. And I almost fell in. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Kane might be due for his boss, but I don't think he'll want to have one. Yeah, Pressure plate, that's definitely a sign of something. Hmm. Wait, if that is a pressure plate, then. Oh, there. You're supposed to get it up. There we go. It will float. Then we put this underneath it, and we lower the water. Okay, and apparently the water isn't an instant kill, but it does burn, because... <laughs> Kane literally got his feet wet there. Yeah. Ah, uh, there we go. It's one of those vampire things that's extremely rarely seen in movies and other games. Yeah, it's, 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 it's typically more that they can't cross flowing water. Yeah, even that is extremely rare. Blue lady. Okay. Wasn't it? Wasn't it said earlier that the the vampire sanctuary is beneath the blue lady, or am I remembering things wrong? As I, I often is, do. I think that is, that is true, and I just realized it's a board called the blue lady. Yep. Remember roleplay in the in Guild Wars Two, the Hell Call of My Own. Uh, Ilva Blue Star. Yeah, and uh, she was blue. Uh, memories. Uh, wait. Oh, it's not the bar. Look more like the front of a pawn shop. <laughs> or Corridor, the reformed sado hedonist of Termagant Forest. I had met him once before in his new role of patriarch. I still knew not to trust him. Ah, yes. Who but the father of vampires would lead the resistance? I am honored, Vorador. I need no false courtesies from you, Cain. We are allies only by necessity. But you are welcome to Sanctuary. It has not the splendor of your former castle, but I suppose it will have to do. It serves... But time is short. The Seraphan's power grows by the day. Soon our every haven will be destroyed. We are facing extinction once again. They thought once before they had destroyed us. Yet you proved them wrong. You created a new race, something I could never do. And from that race, I had my army. Now we are divided and dying. Then rouse yourself. Make more of our kind. It takes time and energy to create a vampire. I have not the strength. No. As Umar told you, we must kill the Seraphan Lord. When he is dead, their power will crumble. You have come far already, Cain, and proven to be our greatest ally. We must plan our attack. Morador. What is it? The worst has befallen. Forgive me, sire. Uma has been taken. Taken? How? Uma was searching the main building in the industrial quarter. As you asked, I stood guard outside. She whispered to me that she had found something important. What was it? I do not know. Before she could tell me, she was discovered by Seraph and Knights. I went to help her, but there were guards everywhere. I could not reach her. I heard them say she would be brought to the Seraph and Keep for public execution. No! Then the guards were upon me. And I was forced to flee. Forgive me for it. We need her information. We need to save her life, Cain. Yes, of course. So, I am to rescue her, sire. Our kind cannot approach the keep. We will be instantly discovered. You have the power to disguise your presence, but the chief entrance to the keep is far too heavily guarded. 
You must speak with the Bishop of Meridian. A bishop relies with us. The promise of immortality can be very persuasive for a bishop whose faith in an afterlife is wanting. The bishop knows a secret entrance to the Seraphan Keep. You will find him in the upper city. Tell him I sent you, and he will give you access to the keep. And if Uma is dead when I reach her? Then her discovery dies with her, and with it, our hope. Go now, Cain, and find the bishop. Uma's life depends on you, as do we all. Okay. Warador, that is a surprise. So now I am thinking about the timeline again. Oh, and we've gotten some act better clothes. Friend. Yes, you. A word of warning. You'd better get indoors as quick as you can. There's vampires on the streets. My sister's husband saw a man drained white he was just last week. And if the vampires don't get you, the Seraphim guards will have some questions for a stranger in this part of the city. Their questions aren't too healthy. Now go along with you, quick! Okay, for all my complaints about this game, the voice acting is still good. The script yeah. is wanting, but the voice acting is still quality. Yeah, I can agree. That bloated update did sound it slightly off. Slightly what? Slightly off. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think now in what area of the timeline did Vorador live, because he was around in Defiance still, and Defiance is... Mm, no, yeah, he wait. Never, he never died, he just hit himself away many times. If I rem No, if Defiance takes place during the time of Blood Omen 1, and in that he he dies. So, hmm. Yeah, but this is a not. Oh God, these timelines. Yeah. I guess this is also another reason why people don't like this. But this one really overcomplicates the timeline. Let's see. Vordor is supposed to have died during the time of Blood Omen One, uh, but the timeline. Um. The last paradox of Soul Reaver 2 takes place before Blood Omen. Actually, 30 years before Blood Omen, I think. Because uh, Kane is said to be born during that time, or during one time period that you visit there. Right. So, yeah, if the, t if the timeline splits from there, it does make sense that Borodor could still be alive. Okay. Alright, yeah, that does make sense. Uh, oh, come on. Let's have a look here. This, well, this part of town is even more gloomier than usual. Yeah, and I had very bad pixelation day today. Okay. What was that symbol? That's like an ankh, but also a fork. It, and the cross. symbol. Yeah. Okay, only now, uh, only now after three games notice it that it's a combination of an onk and a well, an onk is already like a cross, partially. But yeah, that is like an adjusted ang onk, and the onk yeah. is a, a symbol of eternity, of yeah, eternal I life, think, I think. I think they called the serpent symbol a. Trident? It does not make sense. So, the rumors speak true. Marcus, my old friend. A poor choice of words, Cain. We were not friends. And will you sour this reunion with old grudges? Granted, we parted on poor terms. You tried to murder me. I seem to have failed. You feared my growing powers. You knew they would one day surpass yours. Is that why you begged me to fight at your side when you wage war upon Nosgoth? Begged? 
I never begged. In your arrogance, you presumed me dead. But I was stronger than you knew. I crawled from my haven and fled into hiding. <laughs> That's the Marcus I remember. When the Seraphan proved victorious, I knew that my destiny lay with the Seraphan Lord. I offered myself to the winning side. I always knew you for a sneaking, cowardly opportunist. How unfortunate that my poor aim caused you so much suffering. This time, you will die completely, I promise you. No, Cain. Once more you underestimate me. The dark gifts manifest differently in each of us. Over the years during your absence, my powers have increased enormously. I now have the power to charm all living things, to subjugate their minds and make them do my bidding. You will kneel to me, Cain, and the Seraphan Lord will be pleased with my new slave. Now, obey me. What? Impossible. What manner of creatures have you been practicing on? Dull mortal fools, with their minds full of commerce and dung? My mind is far too strong for your powers. No matter. My mental powers still allowed me to read your thoughts. You seek the Bishop of Meridian, do you not? He has some information that you require. A clever trick. I will ensure that you never get that information. You may find the good Bishop, Cain, but when you do, Not if I reach him first. Ah, uh, the guards from before. If no weights, these are different. Are these seraphim monks? Well, they have. <laughs> they wield the symbol like a weapon, so I'm guessing that the answer is yes. Monk the Okay, so two things about that cutscene there. One, I don't like that they just introduced that Marcus like that, like he's uh, without any previous hinting. But on the other, that was a good character introduction. Like, uh, with the uh, angles and such, and well, him proving to be a smart little bastard. Yeah. Though, that's no impossible line. I, I think they could have gone with one or two more takes on that. Yeah, and I noticed something. They do have decent page animation for a time, but sometimes they look rather awkward. So can I still get some experience from these guys? I can't actually tell if it moved there. I don't like that town of him drinking. <laughs> it sounds more like something going out the other west side. Yeah, like... <laughs> Uh, you need to fort, but something more comes out along with the way. Okay, is, is this a dead end? Well, poke it with a stick. You know, just make sure it's dead. There is a discoloration here, and let's see. Yeah, it. I swear, I started to make more puns for the things to you. No. Wait, no, oh, come the hell on. Huh? This door blended in with all the darkness. Oh. I looked at the way for just a split second to turn on the light. Okay, he really is a little creep. Uh, I think I know who he's based on. Uh, oh. uh, appearance wise. Nosferatu? Yeah, like a young girl Okay, I am getting more of the hang of the combat. They deal with you. 
and instead of using... Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'll, instead of using up the fury this time, I'm going to save it for the next enemy to deal with them quicker. No, don't forget to save. You run over a checkpoint. Yep. yep. Uh, still alive. Okay. Uh, we should we should grab someone and see what it does when we use this thing <laughs> to uh, to torture them to put it in plain words. Yeah, yeah. It it probably will be the same as the club. Yeah, the same club. Where is it here? Yes, one is way more either magical or. In real life, more ceremonial. Let's see. I don't, I don't think there's any... Okay. I think I have to check out if there's actually been any scepters as has been used for combat. Well, light mazes might count. Yeah. The, the closest thing I see to a scepter that is a maze is... Something like a flying mate or a. This picture that has two names. And that's the Comet Hammer and Ball Mate. And if you click those two, you will definitely see the Ball Mate. It's going to be the standard bronze steel iron mace that you have to ball on a pick. Okay. That's called Ball Mace, else Comet Hammer. Okay. It, it has been a long while since I played that game. So. Yeah. Yeah, I should get started with that again, especially when uh, events are going around again. There's a lot of events. They have a special one that's similar to like the vanilla days. Like it gets updated Touch me on the world event every second week. They're shorter, but what do we have? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it <laughs> I smite thee, I, sp I smite thy uh, unholy seed. <laughs> and with the sign of how the scepter is made, and what I saw, I think the handle bit, hammer like bit, was round up with the balls. <laughs> 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 Uh, well, I guess we'd be glad he didn't use the fork bit to just ram it up. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Oh no. He needs to be there. You are to conduct me to the bishop's manor on the instant. We were told to be on the lookout for a vampire. Not me, you fool. You know me. Cain. Cain is the one you seek. Well, if he's not gonna stop and tell us his name. Or to kill him on sight. Those are our orders. Okay. I do like that we're chasing after this asshole. Though I, I, I would have preferred if there had been a bit more hinting at his existence before. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's a good thing to be the it is Oregon. You must reach the bishop's manor at the other end of the city. Only he can give you passage into the Seraphim Keep. The curfew has set in, so be careful on the streets. The guards are looking for anyone suspicious and will attack you on sight. Okay, the sneaking is over then. And the uh, hell did the driver go to here? Oh, there you are. Oh, you reached a checkpoint, so don't forget to pay. Yeah. Also, am I the only one getting a bit of London feel here? Yeah, it is a lot like London, even if there are also French and... I need you to shut up there. <laughs> uh, also French and German aspects into it, or at least with language. The structure mostly feels like London, yes. 
Wait, have to... area, is, area is called Meridian. Yeah. Is that an actual what is an actual area called Zombie Simulator in England? I don't know. I know it's a color, I think. Oh, maybe that. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of a. I think I'm thinking of something else that has a similar name to Meridian. Yeah, too scared oh, to pass. I think oh. I'm thinking of Mercy, Who are these? The sneaky little... Get, get back here! Nope! Jay, the hell was that noise? I don't know, I can barely see anything at the moment. <laughs> hey. Yeah, Kane is an equal opportunity asshole. Oh, hello, you're still alive. Not for long. Are they the ones making the weird cat whimper? No, it... Oh, wait, that's a cat, actually. That... No, I no, don't think that's a... <laughs> that's a... <laughs> that's a strange cat if it looks like a rat. <laughs> or an even other... No, the... The... the noise is coming from somewhere up here, I think. Yeah, I said, yeah, I got a bit confused when I heard a cat sound at the same time as that one more, oh, that must be cat, wait, no, that's not cat. <laughs> Maybe it was a cat. Oh, come on. You can do better, boy. Okay, one more. Wait, what? I do like this armor that uh, Kane put on. The oh, come on, it's not lined up. Yeah, it looks somewhat practical. Yeah, the skull shoulder pads though. <laughs> yeah, though it it should definitely def deflect blows. It's better than spiked armor. Yeah. No. I would slightly be confident with something that goes into the. Skull the socket on the shoulder. Okay. And well, the black would help with remaining hidden in an urban area because of the light pollution makes uh, everything look black in comparison. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think I have a bit of brass armor. A breasted armor, but it's not really gold. And I think we just walked in on, a, in on an assassination plot. Uh, wait, is um, is that a vampire or...? I am one of as well. I, I can't zoom the camera in, but no, I'm not seeing any fans. Fans, uh, not uh, fans. Finally looks clean again to me as well though, so I can see a bit better now. Okay. Uh, never mind. Oh, hello. We need the warning sign on the corner. So I don't know why I'm getting pixelation this time. It might again be a bit of a double-edged case that someone else is messing with the internet over here. Yeah, they might have not been the case then. There we go. Hopefully, yeah. If it asks me again, today again about uh, how the went, I'm probably gonna put more until it uh, was very pixelated. Yeah, I fell for that one. Hook, line, and sinker. Don't look on with that weapon. You bye. You say hi. Nope. 
I do like I do, I I do like that they just completely shatter and explode into shards. Well, don't mind me. Okay. okay. <laughs> he did mind that and Man. I am getting a bit of a better hang of the combat, but it still seems to be odd in that it either switches between uh, a toggle and uh, a hold down with like now it's now it's locking on and I'm not touching the button at all. But other times it I have to keep it pressed. Okay, yeah, that's not really confusing. Even then again, I really give them credit, but the, the, the combat seemed better than the other games. Just yeah, a bit more depth at the depth at the very least. Yeah, could you? Those, I could say definitely could use a bit more polish. Yeah. Then again, these days the Batman uh, Arkham Asylum-like combat system is typically the rage. It is. Yeah, with uh, blocking, dodging, uh, uh, ti well, timed blocks and such. And that's basically every other, other game? Not all of them, but a lot. Like, uh, the, uh, the Mordor games recently, uh, Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War, those have basically used in a, well, in a somewhat simpler system of... Uh, the same combat system. Yeah, this must this must just be a randomly spawned uh, noble. And wasn't there a bit more light in here earlier? Not that I can tell. Oh hell! Oh hello! What was that? It locked onto that uh, person over there. What? Well, I think you may be able to leap and attack. Yeah, I'm guessing. So let's see if we can wait for them to return if they do at all. Or did we miss our window of opportunity? Oh yeah, just plain up knock him across the fucking heads. Okay, that would be very good against single targets. Okay, that didn't kill him. But it it did hurt him a lot, as is clear. Yeah, you don't give experience anyways. But yeah, we'll be doing that more. Oh, hello, what is this? A mural of a river or no a road? Uh, it's pixelated for me. Yeah, it's pixel it's somewhat pixelated as well in this. Uh, yeah, there's still a pretty little picture and you're pretty carefree if you're just going to walk around like this after you just saw something leap someone leap across the fucking room <laughs> like come on Probably this we... <laughs> okay <yeah>. so wrong <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
That... Yeah. Maybe there was something they wanted to us to discover on our own. Uh, the whole leap attack thing. Possibly. And save. Okay, where are we now? The moon. Let's see, civilian, civilian. A for, a, for a curfew, there are still a lot of people outside here. Oh. And glow stick. <laughs> Being in the way. Let's see. Anybody there? I Okay, well played game. I can't jump on top of here, so I can't jump over the fence. Might work if it didn't have to load up too much cargo onto it. Come on, Kane! Walk, you damn idiot! Don't us And now he has friends. Okay, the the lock on is just plain bad. There's no other word for it. Yeah, it's easy to stop Yeah, it, it also has to do with the odd thing with the lock on switching between hold and toggle on its own. See, can it actually be changed here perhaps? Controls, the, the auto face, left shift. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mouse and keyboard, no. Blocking assisted, skilled. Okay, I'm guessing that means assisted is where you can just hold that down the block button. Skilled is where you'd have to uh, block on every single strike. Yes, you can't just hold it down. For some reason my knee has been itching for a bit. Maybe I should start killing off the civilians just to ensure that it doesn't lock onto them. Nothing here. Just gonna grab a sandwich. So, don't die. Okay. For every time you die, you have to do 10 push ups. Okay, um, <laughs> this guy is just stuck mid stride. I think both are stuck. Never mind. On the one hand, I like and both dislike that the combat has some weight between it or behind it, that you can't just auto just go between s slashing and blocking instantly. But on the other, these guys deal a massive amount of damage. But yeah, I guess that just means that I shouldn't get impatient with attacking. Here. Okay. What do you activate? The gate next to here, I presume. 
Looks like it. Oh, hello. Oh. Hey, you're just an easy... You're just an easier way back. Even though it's just two doors. Down. And yes, that was a half attempt at... Uh, at was, was the band called Three Doors Down? Oh, that guy is turning it back off. And I only now notice that this fog here. No, not that one. Okay, if I do this and pull the lever, he does not care. Okay, that could have been that would have made a pretty nice screenshot. <laughs> and back with my and boiled medward sandwich. Yeah, just back with uh, something to fill your belly whilst I empty the another guys. Uh it's more for a pizza special bread for my bed inside. Okay, that's some nasty water. <laughs> yeah. I just want to from the I'm the guy that eats more often during the day, but in small portions. Okay. We've got another glow stick. Oh dear. It's like a drone. Okay, dodgy little bastards. Missed. Okay. And that's enough, okay. So the pi yeah, so the guys in glowing power armor are basically a lot dodgier than the other enemies. Or at least this one seemed to be. Oh, hello. We can test it out here. Yeah, you go. they can't really dodge when they're blocked in their corner. Oh, and that one certainly looks like he was puking into a corner. Okay, that isn't deep enough to burn. <laughs> Yeah, your boots are protecting you. Okay. No, I see fog, and he doesn't have the foggiest that I'm here now. Oh, and I didn't see that the edge of the <laughs> the fog was there. Basically, it would be like uh, blood banding in uh, the avat in <coughs> the last uh, avatar, the last Airbender. That basically, uh, well, he just pulls it straight out through the veins and through every crack in the armor. Oh God! Uh, that, 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 okay, that's brutal. <coughs> what? Wait, did that guy just seriously? Oh, because you have friends. 
or friends who do not care much. Everything is real, I'm so. It's not that weak. Okay, I can get up somewhat faster. I don't know specifically what button I need to press though. So I just basically spawn... 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 Spam! The attack and jump buttons and no, I do not want that. I want that. Why the hell was I thinking about spawn? You move on brutal? I don't know why it's changed from red to blue on these. That's supposed to be blood in there. Or is it, is it, are they implying that it's blue blood or something? That or is this a different path? Uh, it's still giving the purple experience, the lore, which remains a dumb name. This is so going to seal behind us. And in front of us. Oh, come on, he... <laughs> he turned that attack around. Okay, I do like the idea of uh, a shield that's a that's part of the armor, like with these guys. Ah, you mean the the arm shield? Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's what they actually call arm shields. I don't think they were ever used in combat, in war at least, but I think they were used in. Arenas? Should be the... It does look sort of gladiatorial. Yeah, that does look very unique weapons that were only used in gladiator arenas or knife as well, man. Like the two-handed uh, combat shield. Okay, that I do not know of. And why a block all of a sudden there? Uh, it's very curious. You can see why it's not used in combat or in tournaments. It is a, a long shield with spear. It has spear. Yeah, spear has the both ends, and the shield has a odd shape on both top and bottom near the spear heads, so you can use, so you can hook and grab on the opponent's uh, weapons. So yeah, it's a weapon you can use for tournament, but it would be damn cumbersome in a war. But yeah, you, you can look at the uh, of the combat shield. Uh, well, at some point. Okay, I see that there are three statues here and one broken one over here. But was that? I'm. Hmm. Yeah, someone likes crossbow ladies. This is the pedestal of the fourth one, it seems like, but... Hmm. Okay. Look at the others. Yeah, they're facing each other. So... Is it a hint? I honestly do not see where else we could really use this block because it's trapped in here. Wait, can you move, can move it? Yeah, I can move it, but there's ledges here to keep it for in here. Yeah, I just realized the other statues pillars are tilted. Yeah, but we can only move it back and forth, and I. Actually, can't even pull it back there. Or push it forwards. Hmm. 
Do I need to use this to get up there, perhaps? Would make sense. There's a there's a marking over here on the wall. Do I need to put it up here or something? Or no, it didn't. It just drop down here. Maybe it was for you to use glue and silver tape to repair the statue? Uh, okay, that, that joke I hope is not the correct answer, for uh, that would just so be so dumb. Maybe we need to put this in the same spot as the others? And then raise the water. Wait, you can raise the water? Yeah, we're moving the water from this, from between these ponds like this. Can we move these? Nope. Can't even damage them. Hmm. What are we missing? Nope. Beyond where we want to jump. Hmm. Maybe I need to activate this thing again. Not that I think it would have much of an effect. Yeah, that, that literally does nothing. Hmm. What? The only thing this thing does is power the train. This literally does nothing because it's already been activated. What are we missing? You're missing something. This feels like a puzzle. Maybe it is a puzzle. Yeah, be because I don't see anywhere that we can platform through from here. Can't pick these things up. But what are you to platform over with that? With the... Is there something that opens up? When they walk Wait, wait, no. Uh. If I pull this, it opens the gate again. But it blocks the path here. I think I know what you want to do. Somehow... Yep. There we go. Oh, okay. We were we were overthinking it. I, yeah, I was thinking you should move it, move that to block that, but there is a lot even easier to just move it like that. Well, you did block it, so yeah. Okay. The bishop's manor is near. However, the Seraphim patrols have locked down all the streets. You may be able to trick them into opening the gates. Find the clock tower and ring its bell. The workers will think it time for their shift to change, and will open the gates. Okay. Don't forget to say. My lady, the girls wouldn't clean his lordship's room with that light burning in there. They were that frightened of it. The lights stay on of their own accord? He calls it glyph energy. He's lit the whole upstairs with it now. It's a wonderful light, so gentle and bright. I like it myself, but the girl's near left in a body. I told my lady the girls wouldn't clean his lordship's room with that light burning in there. They were that frightened of it. Lights stay on of their own accord? 
calls it glyph. Okay, those are just going to be on repeat. Yep, and don't forget to save. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Oh, <laughs> more glow sticks. Uh, how do we sneak in here? Pardon, let me be. Boing, boing. Boing. Can't jump over that. Ah, I'm guessing here. Nope. Do I actually have to kill these idiots to progress? Uh, okay. Again, the game can't decide between if this should be a toggle or a hold. <sighs> okay, that's just it. If if there's enemies nearby, I'm just going to. Now it's again like it's be. The toggle. Both of you get out. Okay. I might just get the kill on one of them like this. Wait. Don't tell me the glow makes it harder for you to do that on. Yeah, I snuck in from the side. I'm pretty sure I need to get behind them to be able to pull that off. Like, oh, oh, okay, he did seem to notice me there. Yeah, maybe because his health is higher. Nope. Ah, uh, stupid civilian! Get away! Okay, just get over here. Not you. D d d what? Okay. At least if it's stuck in a toggle like this. <sighs> okay, what? What do I need to do to get you to stick? Like it, there's no rhyme or reason between it be toggling. Or holding for the auto face. Mm. Yeah, now I'm just pretty much brute forcing it. Okay, yeah, if you if you can trick them into approaching you like that, you can get in some free hits. It seems like. <sighs> <clears throat> okay. 
But that still doesn't answer where the hell we need to go now. That door is locked. This doesn't open yet. Shut up! <laughs> this is locked. Do we need to... No, we can't jump up there. And that's not the climb pole, is it? No, we haven't oh. had to climb up poles before. I take them. Okay, seriously, where does the game want us to go now? Okay, uh, nice that you can do your exercise, Kane. <laughs> but uh, we have bigger vampires to fry. Oh god, that gave me a terrifying concept. What, Kentucky Fried Vampire? No, worse. Vampire Gorilla. Come on, now it does. <sighs> what? It didn't light up before, as far as I could tell. Uh, yeah. For every compliment that I can give this game, I find five more uh, th bad things to say about it. That, that might be the issue. It's very... It, it has many good things about it, but also many bad things. That yeah. Of, yeah, it's a very mixed bag. And uh, as I say, that a arrived. Come on. Okay. Okay. You just want to make me look like I'm making a pun there. And really, we we needed to move that box just so that we needed to move that box one square just so that could lower the entire way. That that just was a bit of busy work. Just added on. <sighs> and here's Jumpsuit McGee again. <sighs> and yeah, we're at an hour and a half. Do you want to call it at the next safe? Not at the next checkpoint because this game is really getting frustrating. Uh, yeah, next checkpoint. So I feel like you're definitely really very careful. Oh, come on. Nope. Oh, I act. Let's at least try to get to the next point, so we don't have to go through this again. Uh. <sighs> Move that, one bit. Bring the bell up by lowering this. We're just going to avoid fighting. <laughs> Please, this would add that you could crush them like that. Is oh, hello cool? there. Wait. Uh, please just wait whilst these idiots open the gates. <laughs> if you'd uh, be ever so kind. I think the other one is what under the bag. Yeah, but the other one is standing right behind us. Or I Oh no, no, you have lost that. Nope, this isn't the time to 
check out the seat in the walls, Kane. Now's the time to run. Okay. Goodbye and fuck all of you. <sighs> Come on. Are you serious? Or ah. Hi ho and anywhere but here. You. It's only a little extra blood, but yeah, I I think we've lost more than enough blood, sweat, and tears getting through that. Yeah. <sighs> What's this here? I can't even tell what that picture is supposed what this painting is supposed to be. Uh, with some rocks or something or skulls? Oh, come on. At least you're alone. And I saw you try to turn that one around at the last second. If that... Oh, <laughs> just an absolute sliver of health. Okay. Yeah, if he'd killed me, I'd, I'd have just been plain gone. What is this supposed to be? What? Oh, it's a woman. It doesn't look like any artwork I recognize. I would have thought it was a Van Orange, but... No. Van Orange? <laughs> I think you mean Van Gogh. No. I'm talking about the, uh, one of the king of the Holland. Uh, 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 William uh, Van Orange, you mean? Yeah, that one. Van Orange. I probably couldn't even recognize any of them except for the, re the current, well, a few of the current ones and the, the first one. Yeah, I saw a bit of orange, and I thought I saw a breastplate, and I realized, no, that's a woman, due to pixelation. Okay. But, yeah, sorry for ending the stream a bit early this time. This game can just be absolutely infuriating. Yeah, at least on, on the bright side, no crushes at all. Yep. It seems that forcing this to work on only one processor really does work. So that's a plus, but yeah, I can see you now a bit more why people may also at least like it. Besides just the completely subpar writing quality. Like the yeah. voice the voice actors do a good job, it's that they just have a shit script. <laughs> yeah. They could have a better script. And the game's combat system has potential. It just doesn't want to decide when it wants to work or not. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's supposed this old game on a newer computer, or if that's always been the case. Well, I believe this was ported from the consoles to the, P er, to the PC, so it's also with that. Uh... And typically... That never ends well. Yeah. It may work well. Nowadays it might work better due to... Yeah, we have official controllers for the PCs that everyone prefers to use without being like you have 200 different uh, controllers and none of them are one slightly similar to the other one. Yeah. Thought I heard something going down downstairs for a moment, but yeah. So again, sorry for calling it early, but uh, yeah, my blood. I'm I'm pretty sure I probably got some extra workout minutes on my fitness tracker because of my, how high my 
her heart rate might have gone with this game. Yeah, I understand you. I would be myself uh, boiling from the frustration. Uh, but anyways, anyone who has been watching now, later on on YouTube, thank you for watching, and thank you sp especially, Drakir. Oh, you're welcome. And, yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll upload, uh, I'll first upload the previous streams to uh, YouTube tomorrow, but starting with the next stream, I'll work on uploading the streams directly after they are done. But, yeah, as usual, until then, until then. Be safe, folks!